It is 640. Welcome back. It's anywhere from six to nine miles above ground and can reach speeds over 200 miles an hour. Well, many of us don't even know it's there, but it's impacting our daily lives. That's the jet stream we're talking about. New this morning for this week's weather wise meteorologist Amber Wheeler is here to explain why the jet stream is so important. Amber? Well, well, Tim, you know where the jet stream is positioned can make a big difference between a cool and rainy day and a warm, sunny and dry day. Now it's created by the temperature differences across the globe between the hot equator and the cold poles, and these air masses won't meet and work to get together gently. In fact, Ribbons of fast moving air form at their intersections. These are the jet streams and they are there are several actually and we're impacted by two of them, the polar jet stream and the subtropical jet stream. Now these move around a lot and they bring a wide variety of weather depending on where they're located relative to you. So here's where they're at right now and you can see where the subtropical jet is now down towards the southwest and this polar jet is creating this ridge over the upper plains, which is why we're so uh, dry and warm and we've got these air masses that are being separated by the jet stream here. And so notice that they're not a perfect line. Jet streams aren't that perfect line that you always see uh, on graphics that you know we may show you or you may see online. They're a little messier than that. So I made a more graphical representation to show you what exactly they're doing. So we've got the cool, relatively cool dry air in the west, the really hot and humid air in the southeast and, and most of the south air, and the cold dry air above the polar front. Now all these air masses collapse and where they do, that's where we typically will see the severe weather, especially as you can see here in the uh, the plain states there. Another area that we'll see severe weather is where these uh, streams kind of meet together, and that's off towards the northeast today. And so this is the severe uh, the storm Predi storm prediction centers severe weather outlook for today. And you can see why we've got the risk uh, in the lower plains, parts of the Midwest and up towards uh, Pennsylvania. So if we look at the jet stream forecast, notice the subtropical jet stream. This will be relaxing in the coming days, which actually will help folks in uh, the, the Tornado Alley and the Midwest a little bit. It won't be as strong and we'll start having more of an influence from this polar jet stream, which really means we're going to allow some warmer air to kind of uh, be unlocked from the south and move up into the plain state. So that's why we're going to warm a little bit. It's also why we're not going to see a lot of soaking rain anytime soon. When we're over this or under this uh, this ridge here that typically promotes sunny, dry, hotter temperatures, it looks like this may not even change until maybe the middle of next week. And so uh, it looks like we're not going to see a ton of rain because of this pattern, Tim. And of course, I just scratched the surface when it comes to the jet stream, and I lobbied for an entire hour long presentation just to, to go on the jet stream. But apparently uh, management says we have more news to cover than the jet stream, I guess. <laughs> well, I think you should have a full hour program. I think I it. do, too. I what's, think... what's more important than this? Right? Well, it's really interesting and, and seeing the uh, the severe weather, uh, the, the map of where severe weather is expected. Uh, compared to the jet stream makes a ton of sense I, and I never would have known that. They until really now. go hand in hand and that jet stream impacts us on a daily basis. It's one thing that I check every day when I come into work. Okay, thanks very much, Amber. Well, when we return on Good Day Dakota, we have everything you need to know as you head out the door this morning to begin your day and